It is the first day of school in the Mesa School District, the largest in the state. We're at an elementary school that's actually now a Montessori school with Graham and his mom on the first day. Okay, I have to ask, what was it like coming here on the first day, Graham? What's your favorite part of school? How would you say it? <laughs> Reading! Reading is fun. Reading is great. Any advice for parents getting their kids ready to come to the first day today? Uh, no, I think you just sort of have to let the chaos reign a little bit. And um, yeah, I think it's a win to get them out the door and in the school and uh, get right back home to that coffee. <laughs> yeah, you're here. That's a win. You've made it. Graham, good luck. Can I get a high five? All right, have a good year. Thank you. So this is where a lot of the preschool parents are checking in. This is a campus where they have options for preschool students as well. The bell rings at about 7.30 this morning. And we're actually joined now by the superintendent of the district. Good morning, happy first day of school. Oh my gosh, this is one of my first, my best days of the entire year is the first day of school. Thank you for being here with us. Of course, thank you. So this was a traditional elementary school. It's now a Montessori school. Explain sort of the differences there and why this is so special. You know, this is really special because we've had Montessori programs throughout our school district in different um, elementary schools. But this was the first time that we could bring um, the Pomeroy Elementary Montessori program into one building. So all the kids here, all of the families are committed to the Montessori model of learning. And so this has been amazing. We have 325 students from preschool all the way to sixth grade. We are so excited that we can deliver on um, the interests and the hopes of our, of our parents' choices around how their children learn. You have 81 schools in the district, 57,000 students. How do you prepare for a brand new year as a superintendent? <laughs> oh my goodness, we prepare. I have to give a huge shout out to our operations teams, our food and nutrition teams. They are working around the clock to um, really prepare our every one of our schools in classrooms so that they're ready for the first day of school. So construction projects, we are doing um, additional security in many of our schools that still needed some upgrades. Um, we have been painting, we have been preparing and cleaning classrooms for children, hiring teachers, hiring bus drivers, instructional assistants. So um, our people are what Mesa Public School makes Mesa Public School so great. So um, lots of hiring goes on in the summer in preparation for our 57,000 children. In terms of hiring, what's still needed with bus drivers? What's still needed with teachers? How can people learn more if they want to get involved? So if you, if those that are uh, listening, we have some positions open. We have some 40 teaching positions open primarily in special education. We desperately need um, instructional assistance, primarily in our preschool programs and our special education classrooms, and then bus drivers. All that you want to know about um, joining the Mesa Public Schools family is on our uh, website, mpsaz.org. Go to careers, and you will see all of our vacancies, and we would love to welcome um, you to the Mesa Public School family. Thank you so much. We really Thank appreciate you. it. Have a great school year. So again, we will say happy new school year, everyone. Hope it's a great one. At 9 o'clock, we will have more from a junior high school in Mesa, how parents in this school are really prepping kids to make that jump from elementary school to junior to high school. That's coming up. Send it back to you guys.